You know, it wasn't nothing, you know, crazy or out of the ordinary. Out of the ordinary. You know, he got the, to the drawing board and he said, these are the plays that are hurting us. These are the plays we're stopping. So let's just go out there and just get back to Michigan football. Let's calm down. Let's settle in and let's just go out there and play. Was prepared, was plays you prepared for or was clutch up guard? Or? You know, they were definitely plays we had practiced during the week. And, you know, just when you get in the game, they can always be a little bit different. They can do a little bit different things, make a minor changes. Um, but once you know we figured those out, we got to see them on the board, which is really nice. You get to visualize it. And we went out there in the second half and we did a good job of stopping those plays. Were the slants one of those plays, and was it was were those specifically addressed? Uh, I think what had hurt us was they were running so many quick plays, just a lot of those quick passes, quick runs trying to get outside. And once we made those adjustments, um, we did pretty good job of stopping those, you know, quick slants, those quick runs outside, and really limiting their offense in the second half. What were some of those adjustments you made to stop those quick passes? Um, just getting to see it and having, you know, everybody look at it and realize that what they were doing was not that special. You know, it wasn't something we had never seen before. It wasn't, you know, the double reverse, you know, triple pass or anything like that. And uh, calming down, having our leaders talk during halftime and you know, looking in the offensive eyes and saying, hey, we're going to get you guys the ball. You're going to have the opportunity to score. It's just all stuff like that at halftime. It's a, you know, it's a big adjustment for you. Is there a road game aspect to that? I mean, it's the second road game you've had where the other team got out big early. You know, when you play Big Ten teams, they're always going to be good. You know, we're in Big Ten play. Everybody's good. Everybody's going to be physical. And, you know, being a successful road team is just win on the road. It doesn't have to always be pretty. You know, they can, they can be ugly wins. You've got to be physical. You've got to win them. But if you win on the road, nothing, you know, nothing really matters. It seemed like you got more hands on the ball in the second half. Is that something you guys stressed during halftime? Or is that just the result of the adjustments? Yeah, probably just the result of the adjustments. Are you talking about uh, corners? Yeah. yeah. They, you know, we have tremendous secondary. They do an amazing job allowing the front seven to do what they do every play and bring the pressure and get after the passer because – we know on the back and we're always covered by them. Carlin, defensive line seemed like was really kind of a catalyst Saturday. Can you just kind of walk us through it? I mean, you had a good game. Chase had a good game. We saw Quiddy Pay with career high two sacks. Just kind of walk us through the. Yeah, I mean, on the D line, we all, you know, we're a really very tight brotherhood. We all just want to play for each other. So at halftime, we just said, look, like, let's let's take the game into our own hands. You know. Let's dominate the trenches, allow our linebackers to be free, and allow our secondary to you know, do what they do and just run in man coverage all day. And uh, getting after the passer helps everybody. You know, we were able to get after him, apply pressure, and uh, you know, cause havoc in the backfield. Have you seen Chase take it up a notch this year? Yeah, I mean, Chase, I mean, he's a very special player. Uh, love having him on our team, would not want to play against Chase. Uh, that's for sure. Having that gold long hair run after you every play would not be something we want to see. Did, did Thornton or did, did not Thornton? Did Thorson surprise you guys on Saturday? Because I think he completed like his first seven passes, looked pretty, you know, pretty crisp. I did mean, he, did he catch you by surprise? Yeah, we had prepared for him the you know entire week. We knew how successful he's been at Northwestern. We knew he was a good quarterback, and uh, you know he got out to the early completion rate uh, that you're talking about, but. In the second half, and after they scored the 17 points, I think we did a really good job of making them uncomfortable. What was the difference for the defensive line to be able to get in the backfield and put pressure on them? Just going back to what we do, you know, playing hard, playing physical, and you know, being able to rotate. You know, like when you go in there, it's your job to go in there and play for the guy you just came out for, or came in for, and then vice versa. So just going hard every play, running the ball, and just making everybody uncomfortable every time you're in there. Are you satisfied how quickly you know you just did? It seemed like the end of the second quarter things were better too. Oh yeah, you know a quick adjustment like that, you know, and just looking at everybody on the defensive side of the ball in the eye and just saying, you know, we just can't let this happen. And we went out there, we're like, we're just not gonna let this happen early on in the season, and have our you know season come down to a, you know the fourth game of the year. We didn't want that to go down. Back to the number one uh, total defense in the nation. 
statistically, you think it stays there through as the schedule gets tougher? Can, can this defense keep it? Of course, we want it to stay there. I mean, I don't think that's you know what we go out and play for. We're not you know going out there and playing for it. Oh, let's make sure our stats stay good this week. We just go out there and we just play as hard as we can. We love our coaches. They put us in the right positions to make plays. And if we just go out there, you know, hone in our preparation, watch film, I'm sure it could stay there for the rest of the season. Kyle, going back, you mentioned about the season coming down and not, you guys not wanting to happen in the, uh, you know, fourth, fifth game of the year, rather. Right. I mean, how, I mean, two losses can kind of change things a little bit. Are you guys kind of, right? was we, that the mentality? Maybe not said, but, you know, you can definitely feel that. You know, you want to always be in command of your future. You never want, you know, let it come down to the end of the season where it's like, okay, they got to lose, they got to tie, whatever, all that coming down. When you're in the driver's seat, it's on you. And that, you know, being in control of your own destiny is way better than having to wait for something to play out. You mentioned Bravo. calming down, and Jordan mentioned calming down. What, what does that mean? Are you your defense isn't panicked, right? When they're down seventeen, oh, what does no. that mean? About yeah. is are you over aggressive? I mean, what what is it calming down? Mean? It's just like just settling in. Like okay, you know this has happened. In the calming down, in sense of that is like forget about it. You know, in football, it's boom, boom, boom. You gotta, you gotta, whatever happened that play, you gotta let go of it because if you keep bringing it with you. That's when those big plays start occurring, you know, one big play, one big play. And calming down is getting to the sideline, talking to the coaches, what, you know, what happened, figuring it out, and just going out there and just doing your job. How would you assess your play and your progression over the last month? Um, I like where I'm at. I feel like every, you know, time I go out there, I'm trying my hardest to play better, especially for the team, and just doing my job in any way I can to make everybody successful on the defense. Uh, not really surprised. Just I've just always been looking forward to the moment of getting out there and getting to play with all the people I've been working, you know, three hard years with, and just having the opportunity to play alongside of them and just go out there and have fun. Because you work so hard during the week. There's a lot that goes into one football game, and uh, going out there, playing with them, winning. There's really nothing more than that. Are you amazed that Karan was able to hold on that play when he's tackled? You know, on the sidelines, I didn't see it. And then when I watched it, that's a, that was a really good uh, block by him that he did. Uh, probably should have kept his arms inside. I think that's what they teach on the, the offensive line. But I'm sure Ben <laughs> Bredesen can help him with that. The defense guys are Say that a lot. Obviously, you guys are talking and not watching the offense in the field. When it's a late game drive like that, mm -hmm. and they're going down to score a go ahead, do you get a chance to watch them in that situation, or is it still like, okay, if they don't score or if they do score, they're still talking about it? Oh, yeah, especially in a game like that where it's, you know, it's a close game. Offense is battling as hard as they can. We're battling as hard as we can. You know, we're all on the bench. We're into the game. We're looking. We're seeing what they're doing, especially that last drive. We were, you know, so excited, so into the game. And just being able to, you know, get them the ball, let them do what they do and be successful and just feed off each other. You know, being on the sideline was a really fun atmosphere. All right. Thank you for the time.